Hello, Marlies Carlene. How are you? Wonderful. How are you today? Good. Very good speaking with you. Um, very excited because I, I've been watching some of your videos now for some time and and I would really love to speak with you today about what we're made of, what is really at the core of ourselves and how can we tap in this infinite power. Um, you use some wonderful words, words to describe that. And I would love to, to start this interview by uh, you telling us what is really at the core of ourselves. Who are we? <laughs> Let's don't start with light questions. <laughs> Right Let's in. go right for the meat of it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think we each have a different understanding of what is that truth that we all look for in life, don't you? It's, that's why I rarely name it. Because some people understand it as their experience of who they are in nature. You know, just like when you suddenly realize, I'm not separate from everything around me. And other people realize it through the understanding of science because science speaks to us about this infinite field of awareness, this energy field that surrounds us and that is who we are made of as well, this energy. And other people experience it through their religious path or their uh, spiritual paths, so their names of God or Buddha or Allah or whatever. And yet, when we're in the experience of this truth, whatever name we give it, we know that's who we are. Mm. And, and, and you discovered that after a series of experiences in, in, in early 2000, right? Where yes. your life hasn't been always like that, connecting to source. And we'll tell later how we can connect to source and what type of practices that you have created. But tell me a bit about your experience back in 2002. Well, I had been on a spiritual journey for a long time. I was always searching. But I had this awareness that suddenly we could connect to that state of freedom um, in ways that we haven't for a long, long, long time. Mm -hmm. We've heard about, you know, a handful of individuals, but now I suddenly realized, no, it's possible for all of us. And so I opened space for it in my life. And I began to meditate, to leave time, to go into stillness. And then I began to experience this place where it's timeless and it's hard to describe because it's so profoundly sweet and pure that when you're there, you just want to stay there forever. You know, what I see happening for people as they come to programs or as they do the stillness session CDs, when they tap into that place, it's like their eyes light up. Oh, now I get it. Now I know. You know the difference? If you talk about chocolate ice cream and we remember it and we think, yeah, it's really pretty good. But in the moment that we're eating uh, Belgium chocolate or something, you know, we're like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> you know, it's being an experience that teaches us what it is. Right. So, so, so you, you teach people how to get in this stillness, in this, how do you call it, this inner knowing, this stillness, this, as time I stops. Yes. Is that what happens there? I used to call it inner knowing. I now speak of it as the simplicity of stillness. Mm. Because what we do is we tap into that place inside that allows us to access that truth that we know, that freedom. And the practices that I made, the simplicity of stillness, um, stillness sessions in the CD, they hold that emanation of um, higher energy, that life stream of energy that runs through all of us. But this is that higher energy in a sense, 
So when we listen to it and when we are around it, it allows us to tap in and what is inside us begins to expand. Because once we recognize it more deeply, then we can go back to it again and again. Mm. And is, is, is this from this place that you make all your decisions and you, is it like a channel? How does it look like when you connect? Is that you put your little antennas up or is it, does it come <laughs> to you or do you connect to it? No, I don't consider it channeling at all. I consider it tapping in to a place that exists inside all of us and that allows us to access that greater field of infinite awareness around us, that deepest potential that lies inside. So it's not just us by ourselves. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not the small self, mm -hmm. because we all have that small self that chatters all day long. I'm not good. I'm not bad, 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 bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the greater self that we're tapping into. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. And, and, and how do you, you have the three breath awareness, you have some exercises, is that right? Yes. That helps us to connect? Can I do. Share some I, of I, those I, techniques with us. Say the last part again. Would you be able to share some of those techniques with us? Absolutely. Uh, there are core practices, and the core practices are the three breath awareness. Uh, it is a stillness sessions, which is a time in stillness where we listen to the music and the words that I speak, where that beautiful uh, essence of pure peace vibrates through. And then there are other practices as well. But the other practices are more about releasing the level of uh, energy, negativity, anxiety, Sometimes we have to release that first before we can go into this place of stillness. You know, when you're really angry, you can't sit down and hold still. <laughs> you know? True. So, you what can't. do you recommend in that moment if we start feeling that emotion? It's, it's different again for each person, but there's a series of different practices I offer people. Sometimes it's putting on the greatest music you know you know, and just putting it in your, on your iPod and just dancing, you know, just kind of moving the energy through your body or taking a run or taking a walk, a high energy walk. Because as we feel that energy being released, then it opens us to a place where we can begin to get back into connection with who we are. Mm. Now, what I want to add to that is, When I speak about the three breath awareness, it's about connecting to that place we have inside. It's not just <sighs> deep breathing <laughs> because we all know how to do that, but that doesn't tap us into the place where inspiration is, does it? So how, how does it look like? Well, we could do it together here briefly. Yeah. Although I will say that Depending on the level of stress in your body, it will take longer than three breaths. What I hear from people doing the practices, when I first uh, initiate it, show it to people, I usually take them through a good five minutes. Then as you get more accustomed to tapping into this deep place, which usually also happens during the longer session, Then you can tap in again, and pretty soon... But at least so that we get a sense of the experience of it, or where we're, where we're tapping into, and how does it feel? Yes. How is that different from a regular breath? At least to have that experience, even though if it's not the full experience, it would be great, I think, to... Absolutely. To Now, what I would say is, in the first time of doing it, I often have people close their eyes. <laughs> So I don't know how well that works with us being on camera. Oh, that's fine. We can do that. Yes. <laughs> Let's just try it just so that we see where, where it's at and then people watching can also do it. Absolutely. So okay, everybody so will have their eyes closed. Right? <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so let's just take a moment and put your body 
in a comfortable position so that you can allow that life stream of energy to flow through you. And then you want to close your eyes and begin breathing very, very deeply. So deep that you can feel that rush of air that you have from the top of your head down to the tips of your toes. Your connection so let's begin breathing now of inner peace and breathe to where I can literally hear you, like the air rushing into the space. Deep breath in. Breathing in through the nose and you're breathing out through your mouth. Begin by relaxing your body. Breathing in through the nose, whether you are sitting or lying down. Breathing out long. Feel where there's any tension in your body. Feel your body relaxing so completely it's as release if it has fallen and let it go into a deep cushion of grace where your every thought magically turns into reality so close your eyes and breathe that's all right. Sometimes you can have your eyes open, and after a time, you absolutely can. But what's happening is your focus is within. So it's that you're removing your focus from that constant mind chatter. So your being, from your the core of your beingness, your Right. From inside out instead of being scattered all around. Right. Where I first found this way of connecting inside and the ability that we have to really tap into it was I was traveling and I was in Vienna giving sessions. And people there are on the trams and the subways a lot. So you're uh, surrounded by people. And you can very quietly... with your eyes open, have an inward focus and begin to take yourself to that place inside where we connect to the source of all. And what you begin to feel after time is like this warming sensation moves through you. And many people feel a tingling across their back or in the palms of their hands. So, it's not that we even have to wonder, is something happening? We begin to... So tell us, why can you share with us why it's so important to be in this place in life, to, 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 be, to be there? What people find, and I have found myself, is life comes at you 100 miles an hour all day long, doesn't it? Yeah. Bam, 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 right? Some of the things you like and some other things, they don't excite you that much. They don't work. They're not like your vision of what would be best for you in life. So when that happens, if we have connected to this place within, then we perceive life differently. So we get in this flow and we handle life situations differently. So it isn't that we have to even keep tapping back in every five minutes. That's not it. We've already begun to experience that connection of who we are flowing throughout the whole day. And so that helps us deal with life situations completely differently than we have in the past. So it's like we're creating more space for life to happen and be flowing in a more effortless manner. Yes. And Have you ever noticed that when sometimes something has happened and your mind will make up a story about it? In other words, ooh, that's not good. Oh, they don't like me. Oh, why is this happening? 
Now, when you get in touch with who you are and you recognize that all of life's incidences are happening to benefit you, you'll stay out of the stories in life and you get back into what could this possibly mean to me? What could I create fresh that would give me a greater understanding and move me toward a new event in my life that would be even better. Hmm. So is there some recommendation that you have for people right now going through a hard time with this crisis and, and some stress that are pretty high and some stakes, you know, a lot of things are at stakes at stake for people. So how, what do you recommend? What is your message to them today? My message would be to know that this universe and your highest self wants for you to have an extraordinary life. And so sometimes challenges happen so we can begin to shift the situation we're in into one that would be better for us and to seek what that is. And in that way, I offer for you to come to my website to look up the practices and begin to do a practice of finding stillness in your own life. Mm. Mm. So many people have come that have found new jobs, uh, new locations of where to live, and they're happier than they've ever been. But they had to have had that moment where life looks really tough before they began to seek this change. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? We need suffering sometimes to understand that. Yeah. Is that what happened to you in 2002? Because I didn't get that. Is that did, did, did something actually bad happen before you decided to change your life? Or it was just, uh, just all of a sudden you decided to, to, to shift it? Well, I would say, as I said, you know, when I was 16, I ran away from home because there was a lot of abuse in my home. I grew up with an alcoholic. So I began searching for who I was at a very early age, mm -hmm. beyond the concept of uh, who we think we are, you know, and our latest job, because <laughs> that's not who we are, not at our core. So I began the search a long time ago. I have been on a journey and looking and searching, and, and I've had wonderful experiences, but in 2001, I really got that what we're looking for is available now, now, to have this experience and to bring it into the practical of life. And so once I recognized that and I opened the door for it and left space for it, it came to me. Hmm. So it's really Our asking it's really makes a big difference. Yeah. And be willing and open, I guess. Yes. Mm. And leaving space. Often people say, oh, I don't have time, I don't have time, I don't have time. This is your life. <laughs> you know, what do you not have time for? You have time to fall down the hill, because we'll do that all day long. And if you take five minutes, ten minutes to begin connecting into who you are, you'll be climbing up the hill instead of rolling down it. So choose what serves you. Mm. Choose greatness. Yeah, but also I recognize we don't know that greatness. You see what I'm saying? Because people are in challenging situations in these times. There's, it's not easy out there, and I see that all around. And as we become aware of this place inside, of the freedom that we are, suddenly we can live our lives with greater compassion for others who can't see that yet. Yeah. Yeah, and it's time for, for, for all of us to really wake up to that greatness now. Time is now, isn't it? It is. The time is now. Mm. Do you have any call or, or, or last message you would you want to make sure that, that everybody can hear? And you know what I would say is, I recently offered this to a 10-year-old. And it was amazing to me how much she understood and got within a very short amount of time.
And I saw her nine months later and so much in her life had changed. And she uses that three breath awareness all the time. So in the tiniest way you can, put your foot in the water. Go online, look at the, the YouTube uh, videos that I have. Begin the three breath awareness. Little by little, you will experience the stillness within you and the greatness of who you truly are. Mm. Nice. Thank you so much, Marlise, for accepting this interview and sharing Absolutely. with us. My great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.